All right, what's going on, YouTube? Um, back with a uh, graded return. Oh my gosh, I got this back so long ago. Uh, I actually submitted these cards at the National. SGC had a pretty good deal going on. Um, so I dumped off on them a bunch of cards to grade. Um, just some lower end stuff. I, well, there's some really nice, really nice stuff in here. It's a mix, non-sport, sport, just a total huge variety. So uh, without further ado, the first one, uh, Max gave me this at the show and I slid it and I got a two and a half. Uh, this is the 1936 John Player and Sons. It's in the background of my videos. This is the much older version of that card. And it got a two and a half, so I was stoked with that. Love that card. Uh, let's see what's up next. No, no huge, yeah, you know, no super uh, big order. Uh, just some, just some fun stuff I had laying around. Uh, anyways, this is a really cool card. Eighteen ninety one Duke Sons and Co. N one one eight dressed beef slash ground hog. So hopefully you get that joke there. Get dressed beef. Groundhog, even though that is uh, what appears to be a porcupine. So, uh, ground porcupine. I don't know why they didn't use a pig there, but whatever. I just love that card. The dressed beef with the monocle is just such a meme. Uh, it's a little bit oversized, as you can tell. I bought this on eBay. Came back really nice. You know what? I'm going to start. Yeah, we'll do it over there. I, might, I may add a scan in on these if I have enough time. 1914 coupon, type 2. Not the super rare kind, but still a good looking card. Really, really, sh uh, really sharp for a coupon. I uh, love that. Uh, this was a really nice one. I bought this raw from a gentleman on Facebook. Came back a four. Really nice sovereign. Uh, Mitchell is kind of tough in an off back. It's like sovereign cycle, possible Tolstoy broadleaf type subject. I uh, really love that red on the image as well. Uh, here's a couple T207 that I bought at the show raw. For um, the Boston National team set, the Braves. A little bit of staining on this guy, but uh, this is a tougher subject. Sprat. Uh, let's see. Up next, this is a very, very, very tough combo for this card. Um, this is one of the anonymous backs. Anonymous T207s. As you can see there, there's no uh, advertiser on the back uh, like there is with the recruit there. So the anonymous backs are very tough. Um, they're from Louisiana, so those are kind of tough in general. Come on, focus. There we go. Anyways, Sprat, very tough card. Love it. Uh, let's see, what is up next? Oh man, this is great. Gotta love a turkey card. There we go. Love it. C14, Game Bird Series. I love turkeys. <laughs> uh, picked this up raw for like five bucks at the show. It's a capital of Georgia. It's an N14. This is a government building and state capital building set. Yeah, imagine getting that in a pack back in uh, 1889. Kind of cool, though. For five bucks, it was cool. Uh, this is a really good looking E90-1. This is an upgrade. Al Bridwell. I was super stoked about this card. I had bought this um, raw on eBay. Really deep red color on this guy. I love this one. Mike Donlin, Turkey Mike. Just a really, really, really good card. Love the image on that thing. I uh, bought this raw as well, and it got a three. I was stoked. Jerry Downs, another tough off back. All the Minneapolis players are kind of tough. But uh, Jerry Downs, really nice sovereign 350 there. Uh, he will uh, ended up robbing a bank and uh, ain't getting shot and killed. This was just for my team set. I'm sorry, not my team set, my background, Jigs Donahue. It's a 150-25, a little pencil X on it. I just got this slab because this is such a tough, tough combo. The factory 25 in this card is just mega tough. This is the only one I've ever seen, so I had to buy that. I, yeah. Uh, this was just a cheap off-back I had bought a long time ago. Got it slabbed. It's a Harry Howell 
Sovereign 460 in a one. And then the last three cards are, these are pretty big ones. Um, this is one of those super tough group tool, group two impossible Tolstoy combos. This is Dick Rudolph. Uh, I like this player combo. He was a, a member of the 1914 Braves World Series winning team. So I've got some Dick Rudolph stuff. It's a very, very tough combo. I kind of like joke. I saw this card raw in a case, and I jokingly said to Max, it's going to be a Tolstoy. Flip it over. Boom, it was a Tolstoy. That's a very, very, very tough card. Uh, and then these last two were super, super cool. Uh, this is a very special card or item, if you don't want to consider it a card. But this is a, a 1912 Colgan's Chips E270 John Titus red border. Uh, I don't even remember if I showed this off raw in a video. I may have, uh, may not have, but if I did, you'll have to suffer this knowledge again. Uh, there's the Colgan chips, and then um, there are the E270 red borders, and these are just so, so, so tough. I think this is, um, I think PSA has graded one of these, and then I have the other. Uh, but man, this thing is just so tough. There's not a lot, there's not more than like two or three of each player. Some players, there's only one. Um, the back of them is a little bit different wording than a regular Colgan's chips. So, um, just a super cool image there. I love this card. Um, this is the only other image with Titus with his patented mustache. So, just love, love, love that. And then this next one. Um, I do enjoy the non-sport, as you can tell. This is a pretty special one. Uh, this is an N19, which is Pirates of the Spanish Main. And this is Captain Kid. So uh, there they are bearing the famous Captain Kid treasure. But I, I just love these. Look at the amount of text on the back of this card. I mean, holy smokes. You just don't see this on uh, pre-war stuff a lot of the time. So uh, that was just crazy. Uh, and I bought this raw for like 60 bucks. And I don't know, this is probably three or $400 card, I would guess. Uh, I want to get the Captain Morgan one day and of course the Blackbeard, but for now, uh, that one will have to do. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that random smattering of graded returns. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.